This is a code challenge for white. If you have been doing enough of these problems, you should know that the only way to make a code here is this move. And black captures. End of the problem. This is the correct answer. Congratulations. <laughs> but of course, it's useful for us to understand why the only option for white here is to make a code instead of killing black. Because white cannot kill black. If white plays any band like this or this, then black can just capture white like this. And there will be probably three real eyes. So more than two, more than enough to make a living shape. So the only other move white can try is this one. And now how does black live? Black needs to be a little careful. If black increases eye space this way, then white can bend this way. And eventually this will be a pyramid four shape, a dead shape. But black can increase eye space here. White cannot play this bend. Because now, instead of playing here and allowing white to form a pyramid four, black can play this move, making an eye here and catching these three white stones in a connect and die. So white will fail this way. So that is why number three must be here. And now what does black do? Black's only move is right here, increasing its eye space. And now this is a seki or mutual life shape. Because if white wants to fill it in, it will have to fill in a five space eye, which is a living shape here. So it's best for white not to fill in. And of course, black cannot fill in either of these empty intersections. And that's why this is a seki or mutual life pattern. And that means if white plays at number one, black will be able to live. However, if white plays here, this can lead to a ko. But can black avoid a ko and still achieve seki? And the answer is no. Black can try to increase its eye space on one side, but white can play the bend on the other side. And now black cannot play this block because this will lead to a pyramid four shape. So the best variation for black now is to capture. White will find a ko thread outside and captures back. Black can actually play a local co threat at number six. White cannot connect because now we'll be back to one of the previous patterns where black and white achieve a seki or mutual life pattern. So white must play this move. And now black captures back. So black captures first and black actually has a local co threat here. So that's all you need to see for this problem. It's pretty straightforward. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.